Michael, it is always great to see you. It is almost even better to read your remarks, because every time I read your remarks, it's like I'm, I'm reading a conversation of a very interesting person, a conversation that he's having with himself. And uh, sometimes that's a, it's the best person to talk to. You're your own best, your own best conversationalist. You believe that the Fed won't get things perfect, but will skirt disaster. Explain. Tyler, I think what the markets are telling you, first of all, is that they still don't know if they can believe the Fed. Right. The Fed hasn't had a lot of credibility of sticking to its guns. You go back to 2018 when they started to raise rates, the market started to fall, the Fed starts to cuts and they pull back. Will they really do what they say they're going to do? Because your comments to Ron were right. Quarter of a point hike is all we've seen and the rest of it's been talk. So uh, taking interest rates up. Yeah, great. Um, but it, it could be that they overdo. There is a chance we could avert disaster. But I think there's also a reasonable likelihood that this leads to a recession. They're trying to put a very large thread through a very narrow needle here. Let's talk about the kinds of stocks that you think uh, can do best or better uh, under the kinds of scenarios that you forecast. Earnings are obviously always key. Uh, interest rates always key as well. You say you need companies with proven fundamentals. What does that mean exactly? And yeah. give me, you have three examples uh, that you uh, pointed to. I do. You know, I was talking with Tony Dwyer yesterday. He's so smart. And what we were discussing was, look, stocks go up when earnings go up. Earnings go up when the economy expands. If this economic expansion stays in place and earnings continue to go up, stocks should survive okay. If the Fed kills it, if they overstep in trying to tame inflation and actually kill the economic growth, then those earnings stop going up and you have problems. But those more secure companies, and I talked about here, uh, three, um, Mondelez uh, is a snack maker, food goods. They make Oreo cookies. You, you own companies that are earning a lot of money with great balance sheets, good market share, and people continue to buy Oreo cookies. Nineteen and a half times earnings and growing earnings at 10 percent with a little bit of a dividend I don't think offends at all. Uh, Google. I, I continue to like Google even, you know, that it's, it's, it's this enormous company, but it's only 19 times earnings. And the projected growth rate for Google's earnings over the next five years, still 15 percent by a world variety of analysts. So if stock prices are driven by earnings growth and these companies have real earnings growth and not a lot of debt, mm -hmm. these are companies that I'd like to own. And I like their model. Uh, and then so, the other one uh, that I had. Oh, go ahead. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.